going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. It's Farms and Bills, baby. Today, we've got 11 PC mods in testing. We've got six console mods in testing. With all those 11 mods were released today. A new brand has been announced for Farm Sim 22. My first round of giveaways for Farm Sim 22 are going to be starting tonight. Yeah, tonight. Giants are going to be at Hero Fest in Switzerland this weekend, and you could play Farm Sim 22. A2 Studio is already working on an update to the 3500. FS Modding announces what their next mod is going to be. Plus, the SMI mod team show off a new piece of equipment they're working on for their vineyard pack for Farm Sim 22. Check it all out. It's ST4 PC. We have the big packing machine. Chevrolet Series Brazil. Euro Milk Rhino FX 1000 HD Plus. Herculano HP. John Deere 6R Series. Noah Weiss. Ravensburg. Caesars Geo Central European Simplified. Caesars Geo Ravensburg Console. Caesars Geo USA Simplified. And Small Gas Station. In ST4 Consoles, we have the AT Front Loader Pack. Brick Garage. KRAZ 257. Lizard Van Series Brazil. New Holland Pack South America. America, and the strong 45,000. With all that being said, we still have one mod sitting waiting to be tested. I wonder what it is. And current awaiting time for newly submitted mods is also one, one work day. In addition to the mods and testing, 11 new and updated mods were released today on the Endgame Mod Hub. I've already made a video showing these off, and you can find that video linked in the first pinned comment and description below. Another new brand has been announced to come to Farm Sim 22, and the brand is how they're going to be bringing four new machines to the base game, including the ULW 4000 Auger Wagon that you guys see here. They don't have any brand information on Farm Sim 22 website yet, but I'll make sure to let you guys know what else we can expect to see from them once it's been announced. Hall does have a few unlicensed pieces of equipment in Farm Sim 19 on PC right now, but nothing on consoles. Therefore, this will be a totally new licensed brand for everyone. Speaking of Farming Simulator 22, my giveaways are going to start tomorrow. Well, tonight at midnight Eastern time for the first giveaway being three Xbox Series S consoles. I would have liked to have done Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5 giveaways too, but those are incredibly expensive and impossible to find right now. And I wanted the winners to have these well in advance of ArmSim 22 releasing. So I got what I could. Each console is going to be coming with a $100 Xbox card and one month of Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, which includes Xbox Game Pass and Xbox Live, so that you can download other free games and play online with your friends. These giveaways are only open to people in the continental United States and will not be shipping outside the lower 48 states. I'll be doing worldwide giveaways in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for those. Those will include more Xbox cards and $50, $100 versions, as well as PlayStation cards with $50 and $100, and of course, FS22 PC codes of base game and of the year one season pass. If you would like to enter one of the console giveaways, check out the Gleam link in the description below. There's nine ways to enter, and three winners will be chosen next Friday. So you only got one week. Get over there and enter soon. And of course, good luck to everybody. I also want to thank Andy the Innkeeper for his generous donation that led to the purchase of these consoles and the gift cards for you guys. Without him, this portion of the giveaways would not have been possible and would not have even happened. So thank you to Andy. But if you don't want to wait till November 22nd to play Farming Simulator 22 and you're going to be near Bern in Switzerland this weekend, I got you covered. Starting tomorrow and going through Sunday, Giant Software will be setting up at Hero Fest in Bern to allow players to play a demo of Farming Simulator 22, do some bell stacking, and they're going to be hosting the next round of the Farming Simulator League. So, if you're nearby, definitely check it out. It's going to be worth it. After the release of my first look on A2 Square Studios TLX 3500 yesterday evening, you guys must have swarmed him during his live stream because he's already working on the first update to the TLX 3500, which is going to include in some added features, new stuff like decorations and things like that around the mod. Plus, he has started work on some new beds and attachments that are similar to the ones that we've got with the TLX 2020 series. As you know, the 2020 beds are not compatible in any way, shape, or form with the 3500 beds, but he's going to be making some new ones that work with the 3500 so that you can keep working hard on your farm the way that you've been used to, which is great because I could definitely use a larger work truck and a dump bed on Lone Oak right now. Additionally, if you haven't downloaded the new TLX 3500 series truck from Mod Hub today, Definitely jump on and give it a go. It is an absolute monster and nothing can stand in its way. Not even a mountain. I proved it. I love this mod. As you know, FS Modding released their update to the GNU 700 tracked large tractor yesterday on the Ed Game Mod Hub. And today they've shown off what they've been working on in the background. This is not an update to the Lizard Thunder like I thought it was going to be. Nope, this is totally new. 
the GNU 800 series large four-wheel drive tractor. The model was developed from scratch, and he spent months working on both of these tractors, the 800 and the 700, and currently he is getting the 800 in-game, then it's going to be sent off for testing mod up for all platforms. And lastly today, the SMI modding team have posted another new pick of something that they're bringing to Farm Sim 22, a vineyard pruner. This will remove the leaves from the grave vine so that they can regrow in the next harvesting cycle. We already know we're getting something like this base game, but it's great to see SMI modding doing as well. This specific model is from the brand Crisanti and will be part of their vineyard initiative for Farm Sim 22. And these outros are part of my I try to answer all your unanswered questions and the point you in the right direction initiative for Farm Sim in general, but never works. Just like every episode of Farm Sim News, links to all topics discussed today can be found in the description below. No release dates for mods, so myself nor anyone else knows when any mod is going to be released. If I did not talk about something that you're interested in or curious about, that just simply means that there's no new information at the time of recording this video. Please refer to previous episodes on the most current status of this project. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel for updated information on everything new going on in the world of Farming Simulator. Well guys, that is going to be it for today. Hope you enjoyed the news video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to the channel for new, and join the GoHand fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily Farming Simulator videos here on the channel. All we said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace! Hey, real talk for a minute. Uh, my grandfather was just taken to the hospital. Uh, we think he's had a stroke, and uh, this news video was real tough to put together.